Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays, and today I'm going to show you how to selectively color a black and white photo. So you may have seen this before, where you turn an image black and white, and then only part of that image is in color. So it's kind of a cool technique, it's still used a lot, so I'm going to show you how to do that here today. So the first thing you need to do is convert your photo into black and white. Now this tutorial isn't about converting to black and white, but I will show you just a couple really quick ways to do that. The first way is to come down to your layer adjustments and go to black and white. This is going to automatically turn your entire photo black and white, so that's one quick way to do it. Another way to do that is to go to hue saturation and bring your saturation all the way down to zero and that's going to take any color out of your photo and turn it into a black and white for you. Another popular way to do this is to add a channel mixer adjustment layer and click the monochrome button. That's going to turn your photo black and white. And finally, my favorite way is to come down to the gradient map adjustment layer and click reverse. So this is my favorite black and white. And to get your color back in your photo, you're going to use your layer mask. So right now our layer mask is set to white, which is great. We want to use a black brush then to hide parts of the black and white from the photo, which is then going to bring some of the color through from beneath, from the background layer. So selecting your brush tool by hitting B on your keyboard, making sure that your foreground color is set to black. You can toggle between black and white by hitting X on your keyboard. And then adjusting your opacity, you want it to be kind of high for this. I'm going to leave mine at about 90% of your brush. You can adjust your brush size by hitting the bracket keys on your keyboard. The right bracket is going to make your brush bigger. The left bracket is going to make your brush smaller. And you're just going to paint on your layer mask with your black brush where you want the color to show through. And I want the red strip to show through as well, so I'm just going to color that in with my black brush. So that is one example. I'll show you one more quick example. Here's another photo. Again, I'm going to go down to my gradient map adjustment layer and I'm going to choose reverse. And here, again, my brush is still set to black. My opacity is still set to 90. I'm going to paint on some of the color that I want to come through. Now you can get really picky, you can zoom in and get really precise with where you want your brush to, to strokes to be, what exact colors you want to show through. For this tutorial I don't think it's necessary for me to get super up close and personal with this photo but this is, gives you an example of how to do that on a photo that you have. So whether you want to show red lips, whether you want to show a shirt or something else in color but the rest of your photo in black and white, this is a really unique way to do that. So again, this is how you selectively color a black and white photo. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.